Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and I have a little DIY project for you today. This is a 2009 Mac Mini with the Core 2 Duo processor, and this one only has one gig of RAM and I think 120 gigabyte hard drive. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna upgrade this to a solid state drive, 480 gigabytes, and we're gonna put in eight gigs of RAM, which is four gigabytes more than Apple uh, says you could originally put in this machine, but it works just fine. Also, we're gonna install Mojave on it, and we'll talk more about that in a minute, uh, Apple's latest operating system. So let's go ahead and get it open. So really all you need to do is kind of just push down on the, uh, the cover like I was doing here, and then once you get a grip on it, you can release the clips by using a butter knife, and then the whole cover will just go ahead and as you push it, it will just completely just come off. So, But you wanna be kind of careful because there's a lot of wires in these earlier models. You wanna make sure you don't pinch anything. So there it is. So the very first step is to remove these three antennas and then remove the springs uh, so they don't get lost. And that's our first step. And then there's four screws that you're gonna remove at each corner. Uh, there's four screws and just to make sure that some of them are longer than others. So just make sure of the orientation when you put them back in. Uh, I, th I believe two of them are longer than the other ones. There's two shorter ones. And then uh, once you get those screws removed, uh, there's one uh, ribbon wire that we're going to need to remove on the front. There it is. And then once that is removed, uh, usually there's a piece of tape um, also that needs to come out and on the top. And then once you do that, you can remove the whole top cover. And there is the one gigabyte of RAM. Okay, so once we get this out, we're gonna replace it with two uh, four gigabyte chips. So we have our eight gigabytes of RAM. And uh, I really like these old machines because they're really easy to work on and they're built really well. Okay, all right, so let's get that old hard drive out of there and I'm gonna put in a 480 gigabyte uh, SSD drive and it's real easy you just remove the four screws there's a sudden motion sensor wire on the bottom of the hard drive and that's just uh, stuck on there with adhesive and when you pop this drive out um, you just kind of slide it and then you turn it over and just kind of let it fall in your hand and it's the same thing when you're putting it back uh, once you put the drive in I like I, I turn the whole uh, thing upside down again so that way it just kind of pops in so see, I get it like that, and then I just go ahead and just kind of push it in. And then go ahead and put your four screws back in, put the sudden motion sensor back in. Uh, that, that just goes on the bottom of the hard drive. And once we get that done, there we go. We should be ready to uh, put this back in the socket. So you just wanna make sure all those antenna wires are out of the way and nothing blocking that socket that's gonna go into. Let's make sure it's good. That ribbon wire is out of the way. And you go ahead and just snap it on in. And then once it's in, you're just going to go ahead and replace all the screws. Get those in there, all four screws. And just remember, uh, there's two of them that are a little longer than, than the other two. So just make sure you get those in. And uh, we can go ahead and put the springs back in and go ahead and put the antennas back in. Get those in there. All right. Okay, then we'll go ahead and get that ribbon cable reattached. All right, everything's looking good there. Get the antenna over on the other side. Okay, it's all looking good. And I just want to check it all the way around and just make sure there's no wires hanging out so when we put the cover back on, we don't pinch anything. And this one's looking good. And then we'll just go ahead and snap it in place. All right, so the total cost in this build was $40 for the uh, little uh, Mac Mini, $20 for the RAM, and $40 for the hard drive. So $100 total cost to have, and I mean, look how nice this is. So Mojave installed on here. Of course, Apple does not support this. You can't go past El Capitan with this computer, but everything works really smoothly, and you even have dark mode. I mean, this is awesome. Um, it's really nice, and uh, it's whisper quiet. You know, you can, you can get, the fans are not even running. It's just really nice and smooth. And web pages come up really quick. It's just a really nice system. It's just a really great uh, system for, you know, this basically $100.
You can also install Final Cut Pro. Um, I tried that out and it works really well. Even edited some 4K video. And, you know, like I said, if you're on a budget, this is the way to go. I will be making a video soon on how to upgrade to Mojave. Uh, also, here's some 4K video uh, clips, just playing it back. And it works pretty good. So, guys, there is my tutorial on uh, upgrading a Mac Mini. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.